What is holding you up from taking your journeyman test? A lot of people have a wall in the way. Let's talk about how we can take down that wall. My name is Thomas Hicken, and I am a master plumber, plumber contractor, and a plumbing instructor. And let me share a quick story with you. When I was a boy, like many boys, I wanted to be an NBA star. So I played basketball as much as I could. I watched as many games as I could. I played on my driveway, I played with my friends, I played in my living room. And then my big day came. It was high school basketball tryouts. I was in a really big school at the time, lots of students. I walked into the gym and was kind of taken back by the fact that there were a hundred kids in there, all of us wanting to be on the team. Well, tryouts started. The coach was running us. We ran and we ran. We did passing drills, shooting drills. And I started to notice that the coaches already had certain people picked out. These were kids that had been on their basketball camps or that had had you know, older brothers that were superstars in past years. And I started to feel discouraged. And then I did something that I have regretted forever after. I walked out. I didn't even finish the tryouts. And it was because there was, in my mind, a wall. And the wall said, you can't do this. You're not good enough. You should leave. You should give up. Now, I've taught in plumbing apprenticeship classes for over 10 years. And I've seen guys go through the whole program four years. A lot of them will take their test and become journeymen. But there's a surprising number of them that don't. And I've always wondered, why not? To me, it's like, if you're gonna run a marathon and go all that distance and then sit down on the last mile and give up, it's kind of a waste. And that's what I've seen quite often as these guys will pass through the apprenticeship. So what is it that's holding them up? A lot of times in conversation, I've found it's the same thing. There's a wall and the wall is telling them, you can't do this. You're not good enough. You should give up. So one of the first steps for you in being successful is to take down that wall. You've got to decide for yourself that you are going to succeed. My first recommendation then is for you to identify the wall that is in your way. For some people, it's the math. For some, it's the code. For some, they're afraid to take a test or it's past experiences that have made them feel unable to do this. But here's the fact, you can do this. We need journeyman plumbers. Nationwide, there's a shortage and you can do this. You can be one of those that succeed. My name is Thomas Hicken. I'm here with Upstrive. I would be more than happy to help you to take down that wall and to overcome any of the challenges that you face as you continue and pursue your journeyman license.